Hi everybody and welcome to the Wedding Rooms in Kidderminster and the Bride Guide with, well, normally it's with Gemma and Jade, because there's two of us, that she's not here today and I'm flying solo and I don't normally do that so you'll have to bear with me. If I'm suddenly quiet it's because I'm waiting for her to say something or if I look to the side I'm looking for her. <laughs> Um, but I've had three messages this morning about this subject and I thought, you know what, um, I'm going to condense down some information that I think as a bride um, is crucial for you to know if you are considering a underskirt with your wedding dress. Um, and the questions I normally get is, do I need one? Um, can I have one with this dress? And what are the differences? So I'm going to cover those three things for you today. I'm going to show you the difference. I'm going to tell you how it feels. And I'm going to talk about the different materials that they work better with and where I would probably try and avoid one. So hopefully you'll find it useful. Um, if you follow our channel, then great. Thank you very much for your support. If you don't, please follow us and like this video. So first dress, um, I have sliced my head off. <laughs> it is on purpose, um, but I just thought you can concentrate on seeing the dress and obviously see as much of it as possible. So what I wanted to show you with this one is I've picked this gorgeous Phoenix dress um, because it's got minimal layers already in. So when you put an underskirt in, you are really adding more of this underneath so some dresses will already have this in they won't have a hoop that's a different thing but they'll have an underskirt so your hoop is going to um oh i'm in a pickle there we go where's jade when you need her so your hoop is going to um keep the dress off your legs so sometimes if you're not particularly bothered about adding volume but you want to keep the dress off your legs so that when you walk around if it's hot or just you don't want to be kicking the dress the hoop is a really good option so you can get an underskirt with um, minimal layers in so the layers aren't so much and you're literally just having the hoop the other option is is that you have lots and lots of layers and you bring the skirt out so this one's only got one layer already in the dress so for me, I quite like the dress like this. I think it's quite relaxed. It sort of swishes quite nicely. It moves quite organically and it's quite a, although it's a very formal bridal dress, it's quite more of a relaxed look. I don't know if it's because of the blush as well, but for me, I'd probably leave it as it is. But if you wanted more of a princess look, then I would definitely add an underskirt and that will take it out and give it much um, more of a A-line shape rather than this more organic sort of swish. So I'll show you that. So, underskirt is in. I've got to be honest, ladies, it was a bit more tricky on my own than I realised it was going to be. <laughs> so, but it is on. I've gone for a single hoop. So, there's a hoop around the bottom. And then there is six layers on this particular one. So, it takes it out quite far, I think. Now, I've got my legs completely free. Now, I can move around. So, as the bride, I feel like I've basically got something here. And then all of the underneath, then, I'm sort of free to move around. So, that's quite a nice feeling. And you can see how it's taking it out. Now, the difference here is that when I move, look, whereas before it was all swishing and moving together, it's not. It stays in that place. Now, part of that is going to be because of the hoop. So if you don't want it to stay in its place so much, then you could take the hoop out and just have the underskirts um, sort of layers. But yeah, so that's basically, I think it looks more princess um, sort of look. So, and the, the, the thing is, ladies, as well, you can have the two. You can literally have your cake and eat it. Because if you, the underskirt just slips on underneath, it doesn't attach to anything. So if you think, well, I really want to walk down the aisle and have a big dress, but then later on, I'd actually quite like it to be a bit more um, relaxed looking, then whip, take it off, pop to the loo, take it off, and you'll have a completely different look. So this is your first underskirt. So next up, ladies, this is sort of in between, I would say. You've got the best of both here. We've got the underskirt, which is taking it out slightly. Obviously, when we take a dress out as well, it makes our waist look smaller. So great. I've got one hoop, which I did have on the other um, one, but the hoop has moved up. So this should be two hoops, but I've taken the bottom one out, which would be sort of about here. And then the, this second hoop is about here. So by doing that, I've still got the space, but I'm not elevating the skirt out at the bottom so much so the look that I get is I get I can move around I'm completely free underneath but I've still got a bit more of the swish so it's just several layers so if I try and show you uh right hang on that is the dress one so with this underskirt look it comes from the top and all the way down whereas with the other one there was multiple layers so here you can see the hoop is about here, just below my knee, and it's a much more, it almost looks like the dress. So really all I'm doing, this is not gonna go, this is where I need Jade. Where are you at? 
look at this. It's very difficult to get this skirt to go back on your own. <laughs> so this is now still swishy. I've got my hoop underneath and it's a lot more of a softer sort of look. So I would say the last one is princess. This is more about comfort for the bride, wanting to keep the dress away from your legs, but still have the look of the dress. So you've got the three looks there. Obviously there are, you know, 20 different um, styles of underskirts, but really they all do similar looks. So you've either got your big one for your princess look. Some of them even start from sort of here and up come out like this. Um, so obviously, you, and if you look at the underskirt, you can almost see the shape that the dress is going to become. So it's, it's really, when you look at the underskirt, sort of, you know, do you want more of a gradual down? Do you want it to come out like a princess? Or do you want it to look like, in this instance, I think it looks very similar to the dress originally, which is what I like. So next up, I have chosen to go for a fitted dress. I've got to be honest with you ladies, I have definitely put this dress on because it's one of my new favourites. <laughs> Um, it's out of our uh, um, like second dress range, which actually I'd, I think it could be worn as your first dress. And um, I think especially if you're abroad or something, but I love the fit. It's really lightweight. And I mean, look at the back. How nice is that? Um, and what I like about it, which is why, because I haven't seen this with an underskirt either, so I thought it would be interesting to see, is that this already sticks out because of the material. Because really with a fitted dress, if you're going to have your bam at the bottom, you want it to have the bam at the bottom. So I thought, well, I might not need it. I feel like it's already enough. I quite like the way that it moves. So I thought it'd be interesting to see whether it would take it out any further or not. It's the same concept with having the hoop at the bottom to take it off. Um, you do have to watch out on the sort of materials that you're going to put under skirt. <laughs> oh, it's tricky. Um, put under skirt under because it, if you're gonna go for a, like a chiffon, which is very thin, your underskirts, the chawl is very stiff. It's a very stiff material. And obviously it almost creases and you will be able to see it. So you do need to pick a thicker material that can handle that thickness underneath that, um, it, otherwise it isn't gonna look right. And I suppose that's what I was talking about earlier when I said, you know, when people say, can I have this? It's like with most dresses you can, you might just have to go for a softer sort of look underskirt, but you have gotta be careful. So first look, so here we have it, underskirt is on, it is um, one hoop at the bottom and then a couple of layers so it's nothing too sort of over the top. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Um, I think because I loved the dress so much before, sort of feel like I'm not keen on it being so sort of stuck in the place now. I think if you really like the shape um, and you want to emphasize that and really get the curves going, then this is probably a really good option. Obviously, it's keeping it off my legs as well. So, I mean, that is a bonus in fairness. But I'd be really interested to see what you think. I'm not sure if my judgment has been clouded because I love the dress so much beforehand. So, I suppose, what do you think, ladies, with or without? Comment below. Hi, everybody. So, I've put you um, onto the little camera that I can move around with because I really just want to show you really quickly, um, just to end the video, the different materials that we were talking about maybe not using. So, this material, for instance, is, uh, let me show you, it's quite thin um, and it's sort of already a little bit organic looking. Now, I'm not saying, look, if you want an underskirt underneath it and you prefer the look of it, then you have one, but I think it will look... Um, it, it won't look right. I, th I think that if you took a take some pictures of it, actually, or do a little video in it so you can see it separately. Oh, I didn't like that angle, ladies. Oh, let's, let's go up here. <laughs> so, <clears throat> this sort of material, there's already no underskirts, and that's probably for a reason, because really, if you put an underskirt underneath it, you're going to see, like, sort of the crease in the underskirt. You've then got also, um, so this is a very similar sort of material, quite thin again. Again, no underskirts. So I would say, if you if, you, if your wedding dress already hasn't got any underskirts in, there's probably a reason why it hasn't got them. So try it, um, sit down in it, photograph it, video it. Um, just on your appointment, just say, look, can I just take two minutes to try an underskirt on and sort of just wander around the shop floor so that you can see what it looks like. Um, also, something like this now, I have seen this with and without an underskirt, and it does look nice with um, with one, but for me, it's a little bit of a sort of boho -y, relaxed sort of dress. It's already really soft shawl. I'm not sure I want to make that sort of stiff and sort of stand out. So really, the materials you want to use are more sort of your heavier satins. Obviously, your thicker chores with your lace appliques and your lace details on, because that will cover any sort of mark from the underskirt underneath. Um, so like these sort of ones, 
these obviously something like this already comes with a lot of underskirts also if you're watching this video because um oh my arm is hurting Oof. This is why we don't do it like this. <laughs> if you're watching this because you were wondering about underskirts for prom dresses, exactly the same applies. Same for the materials, same for the look, same for the hoop. Um, I mean, I would say prom dresses perhaps don't come with as much um, underskirts already in them. So you might have to think, I mean, the blue one behind me, for instance, has got quite a lot. So if it's supposed to look like... Um, a sort of princessy look but straight away look you can see the chawl is thicker there's a couple more layers and it will cover the thicker sort of underskirt look underneath because it's quite I don't know if I can get you in there it's quite a thick material and it's sort of do you see what I mean how it doesn't move so if you go and, hang on there you go here it doesn't move so if you go and put that over the top underneath a soft material that is going to sort of just stand out underneath um, hopefully that's been really helpful for you if you want any um sort of further advice or you've got any questions about the underskirts just drop us a message um with the wedding rooms in Kidderminster we also do sell them and we post them out as well so if that helps I don't I'm holding it on a funny angle as well it's because I can't show you because I'm holding it but there's like a weird handle and really I want it to be like this but it's not it's like this you can probably move it I mean this is not our full-time job ladies this is like just something we like to do to try and help people out um on YouTube so we're not experts in it but um but yeah so if there's anything that you want to ask um about anything bridal just let us know i hope you've enjoyed the video um i didn't like doing it solo so next time jade will be back <laughs>